Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to quickly model some uh, car park ramp. Okay, so um, something like this. So um, this is floor plan. So 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 go. Uh, so it will be a. Um, single lane so go up and the other set going down this uh, the other way okay so let's start so first let's create a project and and go to elevation and I'm going to um, maybe three 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 I think that should be enough for a car park Okay, so and then I'm just going to array some maybe some levels. So okay, and I'll just ungroup. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six levels. So go back to ground floor, and before I um, create my uh, ramps, I'm going to just use detail, or maybe I'll just do some reference plan. Okay, so um, roughly draw some reference oh, sorry, draw some reference plan here okay and also middle oops and then I'll do dimension equal dimension equal so now let's have a look um, and just to make sure because uh, usually in the code there will be a minimum so when you do a radius radius and ramp there will be a minimum radius internal radius and its external radius okay so for example in australia so the minimum internal radius is four meters so i'll just use detail lines to draw a so from this point i'm going to draw a four four meter half circle okay so half circle so this is four meter. So I'll show you. So this is four meter, and also uh, uh, if it's a single single uh, ramp, single lane, uh, it will be eight meter. So I'll maybe I'll draw, draw it five meter instead. I'll just uh, offset by five meter. Okay. So now this is nine meter radius. Yeah. So now we have a five meter uh, wide lane for this ramp, and also I'm going to just draw some uh, more detail line to close this. And um, I'm not sure how long um, we need to be because uh, we need to, you know, the, depending on the, the 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 slope of the ramp. But so I'll. I'll find out later. Okay, so first, if if you look, if we look at this um, one of the image, you will see. So part of this, so it's quite flat to connect to the floor, and so from here it looks like it goes up. So what I think is we're going to model this half, uh, quarter of this as a flat. So I'm going to just use floor, okay? So I'll just do a floor here, here, pick lines, and then trim it. So this is the flat bit. So if I go to 3D view, so you will see this is the flat, okay, floor. And then start from this, I'm going to do a ramp, start this uh, radius ramp. So um, let's go to ramp, ramp and so before we create a ramp, we need to do some settings. So edit type. Uh, let's have a look of some of these settings. So um, this maximum incline length. This I think this is for more for um, wheelchair because you know when people climb the ramp, you need to stop and have a landing and then stop to have a rest. So but for 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 cars we don't need that so which means we can just type in a very big number so maybe 100 meter oh that's okay. 
yeah, that's 100 meter and the ramp uh, the slope the slope uh, I think I'm going to use maybe use two different ones so I'll use 1 to 12 at here so it starts slowly so um, okay so 1 to 12 so I'll use this one as ramp 1 uh, maybe I'll just rename it 1 to 12 okay so okay and okay so now go to the center end arc and pick this center point so it looks like you can't pick that but that's fine if you S C and click on this arc and it will see it will go start from this center line and then I'll start or oh, actually you need to start from this or oh, before sorry before before that we need to let me just cancel this we need to uh, change the width the width currently is uh, 5 meter okay so now let's go back to this again SC pick this line and start from this center point and stop at here uh, looks like we can't pick that one that's fine I'll just pick it uh, here okay and then I'll just use a line to align it okay so now and drag this to here so now we have this part of a red ramp um, I'm going to let me see uh, actually it also tells you how um, see this is uh, if we still use this 1 to 12 this is 29 meter we, we still need another 29 meter okay but if I let me try so if I um, finish this okay finish this ramp and I'll do another one so CS cre create similar and edit type so this time I'm going to change this ramp uh, slope so I'll make it quite um, maybe one to five okay uh, hang on. one two I'm not sure one to eight maybe um, okay so now here I'm changed changed it to one to eight and okay so now I'm going to draw this uh, this time it will be a straight uh, ramp so start from this point so see it need to be here so I'm just going to stop click move your cursor to uh, here and then click so it will stop here okay but let's have a look if I finish this one and go to 3d view so you will see actually this start from a uh, ground floor zero okay and this ramp stop at um, actually we don't know and so what I will do is I'll just do uh, annotate spot elevation and pick this point okay and also I'll go I'm going to just click on this and then this is the exactly uh, exact uh, height okay so a 50.8 so I, I'll just go here and change this to uh, a 50.8 so now these two ramp match and also I'll go to ground floor so this time because we change the um, change the heart of this base offset so let me just edit X sketch and have a look see actually we can reduce this ramp by uh, roughly seven meter so I'm going to just drag this back and so you will see um, so actually we can reduce this ramp to roughly about 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 where am I two meter remaining 500 about here roughly um, yeah I'll probably stop here so okay so this is the minimum length if we use this uh, slope of course if we can still uh, make it make it steeper make it even one two five or one two six or one two even one two but in Australia I think the 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 slope the, uh, the maximum slope 
will can be one two four. Of course, we need some two meter of those um, one two eight at each end. But I think this is quite okay, not as steep. So I think I'll just um, I'm quite happy with this. So now let's go to the ground floor. So I'll actually align this reference plane so we now get this center point of so now this is roughly i think it, that's part um half of the this ramp so what we're going to do is select this the floor these two ramp and ro rotate and space and then pick this center point and also pick this copy and click here Rotate it by 180 degrees. So now let's have a look in 3D view. So now we have two ramps. So one, so we can go up from this and go down from here. Okay. And then we can, um, before, before I copy and paste, I'm going to just place some uh, uh, railing on this floor. Because you can't place uh, ray, uh, a railing by this tool because it's not a, a ramp or a stairs. You will, you will need to use sketch 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 path, pick line, pick this, okay. CS, pick line, pick this, and okay. So once again, CS create create similar pick line, pick this, okay. CS. So okay, so now this is the ramp uh, for one level. Okay, and then select all, control. Uh, maybe we don't need to select all. We only need to select all the ramp and floor. We don't need to select all the uh, railing. Okay, so control C, and then go. See it's gray out. That's fine. We just need to escape. Go to modi modify, and then. You will be able to use this align to selected level and select click on level one shift level five okay so now we have all uh well actually it looks like we need we do need to select some of the railings so see this railing on the floor they are not um uh different to the railing on the ramp so we're going to select the railing on the floor again Control c go there align level one shift level five okay so now that's it and then um because these are solid like quite a uh, thick wall concrete wall um what we are going to do is we are going to um, create a profile. So we'll go family and profile, profile here. So, <clears throat> so line, I'm going to draw, let me guess, guess uh, maybe uh, one meter high. Okay, so talking one meter high and maybe 200 width and also um, I'm going to, I'm not sure which side I need to draw actually, I'll just draw it on this side, okay? And also from this image you will see that's a little, um, I'm not sure what that, what this is called, but some uh, curve maybe. So I'm going to just draw it, so uh, line another um, maybe 150 uh, maybe 150 high I don't know <laughs> let's do it just so let's so this is it so this this is a profile okay so load this into the the project and then we're going to create edit this uh, railing so select one of this railing and edit, edit type duplicate I'm going to call it solid solid uh, maybe uh, 
low wall okay and now go first we're going to get rid of all the rating okay so go oh sorry get rid of the, all the uh, baluster so all the vertical member so edit see I'll just change this to now everything just change it to now okay so now now and also uncheck that one so okay and then go uncheck this top rail um, we're going to use the rail structure on this one okay I think it should be the same but I'll just use that one so go to rail structure so insert so hard zero yep and offset I'm not sure so select this family first so this is the profile we just uh, created and also material I'll use the uh, maybe just this concrete okay and height offset not sure I'll op click OK and let's see uh, let's have a look oh, that's perfect see just sitting here so on the sitting on a ramp and then we can just what's this name low wall select all these and change it to low wall okay so that's it um, and yeah um, I just noticed that so this is flat this is uh, we when when you have if if this slope if the slope of this ramp so um hang on, let me just change the to the unit I'll change this unit to one to ratio okay so it will show yep yeah. so now it's one to eight which is fine which is okay but if you need if you create a very uh, state uh, slope for example, one two four, one two five, you will need some, um, what's that called? At least one two eight uh, ramp at this end. Okay, so, so yeah, just check your check your code, check your regulation. So, and that's it. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Um, sorry, uh, actually I, for I forgot to uh, open up this ramp so because we need uh, to drive the car out. So uh, it, it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so so it's it's very simple. You can just delete all the floor and the external railing and delete this one and only with this floor here and I'm going to just draw it 90 degrees and trim and finish select this railing CS pick line pick this OK yep, and the flip this so now we can select this floor and select this railing Control C and paste it onto level one to five. Okay, so that's it. Um, and also, uh, of course, so for example, the floor. So you can just um, draw floor and maybe uh, some, and then you will have a big parking space there you can have some lifts stairs and let's go to 3d view again so this will be the floor control c paste into one two five so that's your car park okay so that's it um thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow thank you bye